Mitsubishi has just expanded their lineup. But instead of going bigger, they went smaller and smarter and more efficient. This is the Mitsubishi X-Force. <laughs> Ganun ba? Take two. Hi everyone, Jamil here from Auto Industria and we're here to take a look at the all-new X-Force from Mitsubishi Motors Philippines. It's been a while since Mitsubishi last gave us a small crossover. Back in the day, they had the Outlander. We really liked the performance of that. And then, they made it smaller and called it the ASX. We like that too. But for the X-Force, Mitsubishi has taken an MPV that we really like, the Expander, and then they made it smaller. And yes, the X-Force uses an adapted platform of the Expander, so they made it smaller, more compact, and more fun to drive that's perfect for our city streets. So on with the design. Well, it looks very futuristic, very, very space age, but it still has a lot of the qualities that you look for in a crossover SUV. They want it to be handsome, and so Mitsubishi delivered an SUV that looks good with the floating roof, the embossed hood, and the latest interpretation of the dynamic shield here in front. Check out what they did with these DRLs. It just looks sleek. And then you have the main headlights, and you have the silver accent right here that gives a nice contrast, especially with this color. And also, you have the proud Mitsubishi badge here in front. Fun fact! Did you know that this triple diamond logo was a combination of two family crests of Japanese families and this is already 110 years old? Now you know. But here is what a lot of people want in a crossover. They want it to look robust. Look at the fenders, they are all nice and chunky. The same goes with the SUV-like silhouette as well as the side profile, especially with the 18-inch wheels as Mitsubishi considered things like flood weighting with the X-Force. Now, even while this is a front-wheel drive vehicle, they even listed the approach angle at 21 degrees, while the departure angle is 30.5 degrees. Both of those figures are the best in class. Now the back. It's nice how Mitsubishi translated the details of the front to the taillights of the X-Force. Just look at it, it's really cool, as well as the lower bumper details and the rear quarter that bulges out quite a bit. It's pretty cool, right? Now, when we pop the tailgate, it actually reveals a pretty sizable cargo area. Now, we'll just list down the measurements over here or over here. But when we take a look at it, you've got a spare tire right over here and you have the tools to replace the wheels from this part. But the best part of the X-Force is that it comes with a 40, 20, and 40 second row seating configuration. So that means we just remove this one and then we can fold down these seats to reveal a pretty nice cargo area that's nice for camping and whether in pang date, diba? If you've driven the expander before, then this will be very familiar. That's because the X-Force is powered by a 1.5-liter 4A91 four-cylinder Myvec engine. Yes, this one is very similar to the Expander. It produces 105 PS and 141 newton meters of torque. But the best part right here is the transmission. The X-Force is front-wheel drive, but do not underestimate it. That's because Mitsubishi fitted it with a YC or the active yaw control. Yes, similar to the one used in the Lancer Evolution. With that system that's been developed in the WRC, that essentially gives you better control and better traction on all kinds of surfaces, together with the four driving modes that the X-Force does. It has normal, it has mud, it has gravel, and it has a wet mode to suit all your driving conditions. We've seen pictures of the X-Force's interior before, but now that we're actually sitting in it, it's actually quite impressive considering its price point. You see, your eyes are definitely drawn to this huge display. The steering wheel is quite nice, the seats are definitely good, 
but your eyes are definitely drawn to the digital information display here in front as well as this infotainment screen. It has wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you also have different buttons for different functions like your tilt angles for your off-road mode, which is very much a tribute to the Pajero. You also have some kind of avionics and so much more. Down below, you also have a dual zone climate control system and you even have a Nano X air filtration system. Now down below, you have two USB charging points one for type A and one for type C. You also have wireless charging and you have the Prindle shifter right here that houses you know, the start-stop engine button. You have an electronic parking brake with auto brake hold. Then you have the button for the drive modes that you can select from normal to wet to gravel and mud. If you're the type of person who likes listening to music while stuck in traffic or doing long drives, then you'll very much enjoy what the X-Force offers because it comes with a Yamaha premium sound system. And that covers all the variants of the X-Force. That's really cool, right? And in terms of safety, you have the usual multiple airbags as well as ADAS function that we will flash in this part of the screen. Now, in terms of interior functionality, the X-Force is as good as it gets. You have a lot of storage for your stuff. We're talking about a cubby right here. You also have cup holders. All in all, you have 21 of them inside the X-Force. And it even comes inside the armrest. You have a console box with a cooling function. How is that for your long drive? So speaking of drives, well, let's head out and test the Mitsubishi X-Force. So now we're behind the wheel of the Mitsubishi X-Force and I must say my initial impressions is that Mitsubishi knows how to listen to its customers in delivering what they want in a small crossover SUV. Number one, you have ground clearance. Number two, you have the maneuverability, very good turning radius and the excellent visibility brought about by this pretty high driving position, giving you, you know, the command of being in a high riding crossover. Number three, you have the riding comfort. It's very quiet inside and the suspension, it's really comfortable. It soaks up the bumps very well and that is because Mitsubishi used shock absorbers with a similar diameter as that of the Pajero Sport or more commonly called as the Montero Sport here in the Philippines. You know, we've already driven the Expander in many occasions but the X-Force is a totally new experience because of the transmission. Since it now has a CVT, it's much smoother. And the CVT of the X-Force is actually an intelligent type because whenever you're going uphill or downhill, it has some sort of pitch sensor that raises up the RPMs whenever you're going up or going down. So when you're going up, you get more power. And when you're going downhill, it acts as if it has um, simulates an engine braking. But really, the X factor of the X-Force comes down to its four driving modes. The normal, the gravel, the mud, and the wet mode. We actually tested that at Tarlac Circuit Hill where Mitsubishi set up some sort of a rally cross stage to, set, to test the capabilities of the X-Force. And over those conditions, multiple um, terrain, the X-Force feels reassuring. It feels confident in whatever road condition you throw at it and that speaks volumes to how Mitsubishi leveraged its experience of rallying to create a small crossover that delivers that kind of driving fun and the kind of efficiency the comfort that you want in a crossover SUV and the result the Mitsubishi X-Force It's good to see Mitsubishi get in its group and show us what they can do, building cars that we Filipinos will enjoy driving. That is certainly the case with the X-Force. It's a front-wheel drive everyday crossover that delivers the efficiency you need and the fun that you want. As for pricing, we don't have the exact figures as of yet, 
but Mitsubishi says the indicative pricing will be somewhere around the 1.3 billion peso range. So tell us your thoughts on the comment section down below what you think of the Mitsubishi X-Force because quite frankly, we think this X hits the spot.